Hello everybody, Zman1064 here and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is a little bit different because I'm not going to be trolling or talking about an unturned pay to win server. Today we're going to be talking about a situation that has been brewing within the unturned community for a little while now. Uh, something that I thought a video should be made about because a lot of people are being left out of the loop. This of course being the situation with the unturned gambling site and potential lawsuit by nelson sexton now unturned hasn't really had any gambling sites made for it uh, most people just do their skin trading on the community market on steam however recently fellow youtuber rushed rushed was a unturned youtuber a couple years ago he hasn't uploaded in a while he was pretty well known in the unturned community for his videos on rust turned which is an unturned mod that turns unturned into rust and recently he set up a unturned gambling website with this guy called the hobbs hobbs is one of the owners of rust clash rust clash is one of the biggest rust gambling sites and these guys came together and made this website and a lot of people are mad at them and there's a lot of interesting information to go over in this video i interviewed these guys on my live stream i'm going to be leaving the full interview in this video you guys are about to watch it and some of the things said didn't really make sense or didn't line up so i'm going to be doing a breakdown of the interview obviously some people don't want to watch the full interview or probably don't have time to watch the full interview so i'm going to be putting a time stamp on the screen right now if you guys want to just skip the interview and go to my breakdown where i break down some of the things said you guys can do that but yeah this is the unturned bet interview and breakdown video and uh with that being said let's get into it greetings rushed how you doing? and um how do i say your name Ho how hobbs yeah let me know if there's anything wrong with my now you sound fine. Rush, yeah, you might want to go and push the top if possible. Oh, okay. Just, uh, or bring up the uh, responsiveness of your mic or some shit. Mmm. Okay, so uh, this is the interview. Oh, yeah. We've been planning to do this for like a little bit, but we've all been pretty busy, so it hasn't been able to materialize. But now we're doing the thing where we interview. So, uh, I, I'm going to like get audience questions in a minute, but I just had my own questions about like your, uh, your yeah, little, your business operation that you're doing here. So like, what was the, um, what was the initial catalyst for you guys making this, uh, the, the, is it a trading site or a gambling site? Which one is it? Oh, it's a, it's a gambling site and I can answer that. Okay. Um, my partner and I, so Rush managed a old site of ours, uh, now recently old. We sold it to one of the bigger um, trading. We, Rush managed a trading site for us, um, my partner and I. And for context of who my partner and I are, we own the biggest Rust gambling site right now, Rust Clash. Uh, it is verifiably the biggest when it comes to volume. Okay. Um, and then we own, or he, my partner um, owns uh, RBLX Wild, the second biggest um, Roblox site right now. And so... Basically, both the sites fully provably fair. Um, they take like venture capital money, like they are legitimate businesses. Clash is now um, working on like actual e-gaming licenses. Like we are fully legitimate businesses. And um, we initially came to this because we saw that Unturned, right? It had been listed on places like uh, Bitskins, the skins at least in the past had. There was a somewhat liquid market and then there was quite literally nothing done with the skins. And um, contrary, I know people, a lot of people don't like gambling, but the first step on actually making skins worth money is giving them applicable uses outside and a use as a currency. And the way you're going to get that big volume is through gambling sites. So naturally, like when we pave the way it is, there are going to be problems with skins. There are going to be problems with pricing, but, um, the first step is actually a gambling site. You can see that in CSGO, um, largely that really brought skin liquidity to the roof. And then uh, in Rust too, with the first Rust gambling sites coming up. Okay. So this pick. No, you're good. So yeah, well, that's interesting. I didn't. I was on. A, I knew about the. Um, I knew about Rust Clash because Rust told me about it. Um, it's actually funny. Someone 
someone commented on the stream that your site is just a copy of Roblox Roll. Isn't that just your site? Probably looks Roblox wild. Yeah. Uh, uh, my partner Dogs' is site. Oh, so I can see why they're they're probably similar in some aspects. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a lot of the same base code, same provably fair methods, um, mm -hmm. which is a proven concept. The players like it. The games are fair. All that stuff. Okay. Okay. So like. Uh, base. How does this? How does this stuff like work? Like, how does the? What's the like process of like using your site? Yeah. So you can come along. So let's say initially you have unturned skins. Uh huh. You trade them for a bot. You get on site currency, and then you can play games such as case openings, similar to CS:GO or any case opening site. Case battles, where you open a case versus another player, and whoever pulls a more expensive item wins both of the items. Right. And then there's Crash, which is a classic casino game where you ride up a multiplier and, and try and cash out. And then Upgrader, which is you upgrade one skin to another skin with a certain chance. So just all classic casino games. Um, kind of, I mean, Rust Clash and um, uh, RBLX Wild both have these game modes if you want more context on checking those out. But um, that's pretty much how it works. And then there's also, let's say you don't have unturned skins or you don't want to wait the Steam um, market trade hold, you can always deposit with um, gift cards or cryptocurrency and actually get a bonus on those because obviously skin value doesn't equal USD value. So we are going to be giving, I want to say, what is it, 30% rushed? Yeah, sounds about right. But just to add, no. that right now it's only skins that we accept, unturned okay. skins. And well, to add, so... I've heard a lot of confusion about when it comes to our case opening systems. So when you actually open the case, you kind of, it's a normal case system. You unbox a specific skin, but since uh, we don't always have these skins in stock, it's a better idea to reward the player with the value of the skin in uh, site currency that they can then use in our withdraw shop to take out whatever skin they want. Okay. Good point. I totally forgot to clarify. Okay, so it's like uh it's kinda like a virtual casino. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. It's just kinda like a casino. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um so like gambling is obviously like an eighteen plus type of deal. Like you can't be like a child and, and gamble. And unturned is kind of like a it kinda comes off as a kid's game, so a lot of kids play it. Is your site like is there any is there some is it written anywhere that it's eighteen plus? Yeah, so our site is strictly 18 plus. We have a terms of service, all this stuff. If any support have suspicion that you were under 18 or there's any reason to suspect that you were under 18, you will be banned until you can KYC yourself or you do a know your customer policy and prove um, that you are in fact above 18 years old. Okay. It's the same with, with Rush Clash, right? We have, I want to say, close to 20,000 banned members just simply from the fact that they did not meet the age requirements. So we are extremely strict on this. Okay, okay, well, that's... Yeah, and that uh, sounds just to add, of course, of course, unturned, you know, generally the age is a bit younger for, for the game, but as we've seen with all the other games that have uh, gambling sites on them, like CSGO and Rust, and um, more recently also Roblox, you know, these are younger communities overall, but that doesn't mean that there's a... Uh, there's an older population also playing those games, which is actually uh, who we're targeting here with with our side as well yeah so these games have been out for years and their initial player base at the time may have been closer to a may their initial majority player base when they launched may have been under 18 but many of these games have been out for almost seven to ten years now. well yeah you know unturned I mean? so, has been out for eight years so i can see i can see where you're going like some kid that started playing it eight years ago might be 18 now so yeah it makes sense Exactly. So don't, we're not denying that there is a player base, and that player base is um, common in every game. There is an underage player base, but it's the same way that we're going to do everything in our power, as we have done with our past sites. We've been pretty successful to keep um, players that are under the age of 18 off it. And sadly, like with anything, it's never perfect. It's the same way that kids in the U.S. under 21 are able to purchase alcohol every day, right? Like just because of the law and because it is enforced and we will strictly enforce it, it's never perfect. Okay, okay. All right, so oh, here's a good one. Here's a good question. 
There's actually people are asking me to ask this. So apparently this is allegedly I don't know if this is true or not. I saw images. Now, I don't know if these images were real or not, but Pete, the, Nelson Sexton, the actual creator of Unturned, um, apparently he actually it there's. There's photos I've I've seen them. He joined your your guys's Discord, and um, I guess he sent you guys a cease and desist. He sent you a cease and desist allegedly. Is this, knowledge. There was no. Is this that true? I mean we had multiple users impersonating Nelson. To our knowledge and to our legal team's knowledge, we have not received any cease and desist. Um, and we're not actually using. When it comes to actual Steam licensing, we can get that's a more deep conversation about. Um, when it comes to actual in-game items that are um, used on the Steam platform and used as Steam tradables, who the licensing actually pertains to. But to our knowledge, we have not received any cease and desist from um, the creator of the game himself, much less Valve, for the record. And Valve is the one who we, we are required to receive a cease and desist from because we're using their trading API and because any game listed on Steam. Yeah, because um, it's, it's Steam. Steam's owned by Valve, so it's like their thing. Exactly. If, if, your, Steam, if your game gets... Listed on Steam, you are technically leasing the rights to Steam. So it okay. is their call. Okay, so so you're telling me so Nelson did not send you a cease and desist? Not to our knowledge. We've not received a cease and desist from Nelson. Not to your knowledge. Okay. All right. So no cease and desist. So that's that's weird then if, if he didn't send you a cease and desist. Because I saw like 20 images, but like... Yeah, people do in per. I, yeah. I I also heard people were impersonating him, so I don't know. Maybe they maybe they did. I'm not sure. I mean, there was one situation where there's somebody with Nelson's profile picture, his name, and everything. This is probably the we can probably get the screenshot up for the video. But so he had joined our Discord and he had can't remember the exact message, but he had said something about you know uh, that you should shut down the site or, or something like this, and then. There were also a lot of rumors that we had banned that account, but yeah, people are in true. the chat are saying you banned him. No, ban Nelson. No, he just whoever. left. Whoever it was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I I took a look at the chat. I want to address something. Um, the site is completely provably fair. And if players don't know what that means. You can verify on site all the roles of all the games. You can see how these numbers are generated, and, and you can prove that these jumper numbers are in fact generated the second or are generated not by us and actually fully random the same way if you go on rust clash or rbx wild you can see that these numbers are legit and you we have no control over the games on the site so you Which can't the rig the game enemy. basically exactly. that, that's it's what you're saying you can't rig the game off. yeah a, pr a good provably fair system which we have which are tested which we use on all of our sites um are impossible to rig like that's the entire premise of a provably fair system okay all right that's in all right so it's you can't rig the site um nelson did not send you a cease and desist am i able to talk on one of the questions i see in the chat yeah you guys can answer chat questions i was going to read them myself but if you want to just read them yourself you can that'd probably be easier yeah, so Apachki uh, asks, what's the point of an unturned gambling site when there are already mystery boxes in the game? So that's an interesting question. Uh, we we're actually thinking about this when we were kind of creating the site and one of the purposes of the site. So as we all know, unturned already has cases. Mm -hmm. But our cases actually have higher odds and better returns, per se, on the cases. So by opening on our service, you actually get more for your money than you would with the actual Nelson cases in the game. Okay. And for context, people are saying that Nelson, um, so to our knowledge, we have not received any cease and desist. We are very, I check all my DMs. Um, the guy, there was an impersonator, but we proved that that was not Nelson. Um, more to the point, it is also, as I said, Valve, um, We've ran these sites for many years. Valve is required to reach out because Valve has the licensing for Unturned. And we're using their intellectual property, not the intellectual property of um, Nelson. Just if we're, if we're getting legal because mm -hmm. um, that, I mean, obviously, 
you can talk about if you think it's what we're doing is right or not. I everyone has their own opinion, and I completely respect that when it yeah. comes down to the actual law of it. Um, we have done nothing wrong. Yeah, I mean, I'll just say like I'm gonna I'm staying neutral because this is an interview. You know, I don't want to like I don't want to like like before when I did stuff like this, I'd always like it would basically the stream would just be my opinion. I don't want to, that's not what I'm trying to do. Like, I don't, I don't approve of gambling, right? But I'm just doing this interview because, well, no one's reached out to you guys, first of all. So no one's actually tried to just do an unbiased interview where you guys can speak your piece. Um, In terms of like, you know, I don't know the like morality of like gambling sites, like, well, I'm not like an expert. I will just say this: like Unturned has gambling in it. I will just say that. I mean, I'm I'm just I'm gonna acknowledge that the boxes are are literally gambling. So, if that's allowed in the game, I don't know why this site wouldn't be allowed. But you know, I'm not like an expert. I'm just that's just kind of my opinion on it. You know. No, and gambling's not a way to make money. Like gambling in itself is like you could call it a vice. Like, there's no question about that. Like, I would not, um, I gamble all the time for fun within a reasonable limit, like with stuff I'm willing to lose and I have a great time doing it with buddies or just for the rush of it. But gambling should never be done to make money. And like, it, it, it's literally a service. It's, if you can use it if you want. Nothing, obviously everyone has their own opinions on gambling. I'm not going to act like it's by any means, um, by any means like a perfect thing. But I think you would be stupid to, you're not stupid, I think you'd be wrong to not realize that the increased liquidity to the skin market and that people buying and selling skins to use them for gambling is actually an inherent benefit for the value of unturned skins. Like the market. Being... Exactly, exactly. Okay. Um, Will Lemons. But for example, Bus Clash itself is, I'd, I'd say, the hardly owns, while it being the biggest rock fight, it probably has. 25% of the rough market and we do alone millions of dollars wagered a day with pe paying out over $200,000 skins a day. So that trading alone and the people buying and selling those skins is a massive part of why um, rough skins are so liquid, why you can sell a skin on a third party website and get cash for it in as little as 30 seconds. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's yeah. like a, but it's I, like I, an I, increase. Really you're increasing the value of the skins on the market, is what you're saying, when you make this, I, I, when you do this stuff. We'll make it so that the value may not increase, but you'll be able to sell your skins faster. For instead of looking at the spreads on the Steam market, where there's a, an item sold for three cents one day and six months later, like six hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Like the unturned market's kind of a mess. If we're being completely honest, that's why it's taken us so long to get pricing down. Sure, but, sure. Actually, we'll talk more on that. Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest issues we've had with setting up this site has been how to price an unturned skin correctly. So let's take a look at any mythical and unturned. Uh, it'll sell at most once or twice a month. Usually it's once every three months or so. So it gets really tricky how, how to uh, price the skin since you're not even able to sell it very often. So this comes back to the liquidity that's missing from unturned as a whole. In the skin space and for the size of uh, the game unturned skins are very illiquid actually and i think a big reason for this is that unlike with other games unturned misses the whole community aspect of skins so it misses a lot of these core services that you need such as a gambling uh, site a trading site a marketplace as well you know these have these have been missing from the unturned scene for a long time now. Uh, we used to have bit skins earlier, but even that wasn't a proper attempt, to be honest. Bit skins was a marketplace where you could buy and sell unturned skins, but it wasn't really uh, ran properly. It was more on the sidelines as a project. And well, we have had gambling sites before in unturned, and there are actually other I do remember. I do recall you having uh, having a unturned site before rushed um what what happened yeah, to that so, site so that was about it was a long time ago it was I'm like two -ish, sure. two ish years ago i think two or three years yeah ago. so I, I had tried uh, setting one up twice actually 
one time was six years ago and the other time was three or so years ago but yeah basically those were never even properly started those were more of a passion project i've always wanted to make this site because i've always seen that it's been missing from the from the unturned scene but i can assure that this time it's actually being done properly and we have a great team behind us <laughs> that hobbs has brought over and it's, it's definitely nothing like before that's for sure okay um will lemons actually asked an intriguing question in the chat he says and i quote do you believe what you're doing is right personally and do you think the majority of Unturned wants this website? Yeah, so as a whole, of course, gambling is, is nothing new. It's a whole industry. It's one of the biggest indus industries in the world. And as Hobbs has said, it's not to make money. It's entertainment at the end of the day. And, you know, no one's forcing me to play any sites. Um, it's actually... Uh, beneficial for us, for the people who want this site. And yes, there are people in the community that have asked for an unturned gambling site and here we are to give it. Is everyone, uh, does everyone love it? Of course not. This comes back to the people who are against gambling as a whole, like you said for yourself, for example. Yeah. And you no, know, uh, unturned has had gambling before. It's, it's really nothing new. I mean, we're yeah. just taking a new aspect on it. My perspective on pretty much everything in this regard is I'm pretty libertarian on it. I'd say if people want to use the site, let them use the site. If they don't want to use the site, they don't have to use the site. At the end of the day, it's everyone's personal freedom. We're putting up a website. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. If you want to use it and have a little entertainment, maybe win something, maybe lose something, then it's your prerogative. But um, I think for you, for people to be saying that, I, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's like personal freedom. Like I'd rather, for example, there be um, casinos in my area and I could choose whether or not to use them, then they'd be completely outlawed and I have no choice. Same thing goes for liquor stores, same thing goes for honestly the legalization of pretty much anything. Don't get me wrong. It's a, is it, is a, is it advice? Yes. But um, I think in a controlled environment, it can be a very fun time and people can seek a lot of entertainment from it. Okay. I I just thought of a question myself personally. I don't, I don't know if you guys are allowed to answer this question. So you don't I don't think you have to cuz I know with I know with profit margins and stuff like that it could be confidential that you, so you would not want to answer cuz I I know like I've asked I've no, talked with people about like that type of stuff and they can't say. Uh so like People put money into the site, like how, what percentage of that money actually goes to you guys, like directly, like personal yeah, so, income? No, good question. So the, similar to Rock Clash or other site, you put in money on the site and immediately you get the complete balance. Now, where a casino makes money is when you play the games because there is a 10% house edge, which means essentially if you play 900 times 10% of the, you will lose essentially 10% of your money playing. Or if you bet $1,000 on average, you will win back $900. That's on average. Now, sure, sometimes you could, um, on your $1,000 bet, you could win 10,000. Sometimes you could win zero. Sometimes you could win 5,000. On average, if you stretch it out in the long run, you will win $900 back. And so, or it, honestly, what will make more sense for this site, if you're betting $1 on the site, in the long run, you will win back 90 cents. Sure, you could win $10 off your $1 bet. Sure, you could win five. Sure, you could win zero. But that's the same way all casinos work. That's generally the premise of how it works. Now, the numbers are all legitimate. Like the, it is all completely random, which you get, which you get. If you get $10, a $10 win or a $0 win or a $5 win, but in the very long run, it will come down to you winning about 90 cents for every dollar that you put in. Okay. Just to add, I think unturned cases have about a 60% house edge. So essentially for every dollar that you would bet on uh, or, or buy an unturned case with, you would get about 40 cents back. That's what I checked last time. Of course, it depends on each case, but that's about an average. Which is similar in CSGO for context. Like if you spend $2.50 to open a case, on average, you're getting about $1.26, which is a 50% house edge. What we're saying is if you spend $2.50, on average, you will get to back $2.25. So 
the gambling already exists in all these games, no matter how you want to look at it. We're offering you better that odds. That is true. And honestly, more, in my opinion, more fun game modes to bet on. So, and at the end of the day, it's your choice if you want to play. Like, no one is being forced. It's completely fair. So, yeah. Okay. Um, here's another. This will be an intriguing question, especially considering um, recent events um, involving myself. Um, what is the what system like do you guys have a system for choosing sponsors because i know um so for everyone watching for context um rushed actually hit me up regarding the site if i wanted to promote it and i actually did uh i ended up returning the money and deleting it because i got um a decent amount of backlash and i mean it was valid because you know I've been like the I'm like an anti pay to win guy, you know, anti like anti gambling, all that like that type of that type of deal, right? So obviously it, it made sense. I did apologize because I really shouldn't have taken the deal to begin with. It was just a stupid decision on my part. But like, what system do you guys do, like put in place for choosing partners? Because I know I know of other partners you have that I'm actually that I know myself. So like, what is the process? behind that yeah especially uh, oh you want to go for it go for it rush yeah oh, i got this one so i mean really anybody who's trying to work with us as long as they're you know they're they have good reputation in the community we're always happy to work work along with them and come up with the yeah that's beneficial for both of us but talk about your deal specifically if you want to hop on that a bit you know um i had reached out to z-man asking him to promote a giveaway that we were running for the launch of our, our website. And at first, Zeman was, of course, a bit hesitant, knowing his community and kind of uh, expecting that he might have got this backlash that came after him. But then, in the end, we decided to give it a try, see how it goes. And probably not even two days later, after we had uh, agreed on this deal and Z-Man had put up a post about the giveaway, he had decided to take it down because he realized he had made a mistake. This is maybe not the right thing for his community specifically. But overall, um, 12 hours, there you go. So basically instant. And I mean, other than you, Z-Man, there isn't really anyone else like that in the Unturned community. So uh, I know Liam... Liam has had a um Liam has partnered with you guys. He actually uses the site. Isn't he like third place in points or something like that? I saw like a screenshot. Well, actually Liam isn't partnered yet with us or anything. So he no? just likes the site and he has been using I mean, it. And for context, I totally respect that you pulled back on the deal. Like it's all like people I mean, it literally comes down to personal freedom. It's your channel. Like even I have no issue with anyone backing out. You did it really respectfully. Um, you sent back the money, obviously, and we came to like a fair deal. And at the end of the day, you didn't think it was right for you, but you also respected that other people might want to use the site and you're trying to bring or like quell a lot of the rumors, which I do appreciate. It's for context. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to do the interview because um, I mean, I, I think I said this before, but like unbiased interview where you guys are asked questions and then there are answers to the questions you guys answer the questions those are like official answers to the questions now people can believe them or not believe them or whatever that doesn't matter but like or people can or it could be up to, up in for interpretation or whatever but like you guys are you guys are answering the questions these are the official answers now, I'm not saying that, like, anything is true. I'm just the interviewer. Like, I'm not taking sides. I'm just interviewing because no one else has done that, which is interesting. I, I would thought people would, would have done this already, but no one has, so. No, and I appreciate that. And just to respond to one comment in the chat, um, just larger picture, Unturned Bed is by far our smallest project. Um, for context, Rust Clash, like, we... And our bigger sites have venture capital backers. These are multi, multi, eight-figure businesses. Like for like the volume these do, these are legitimate casinos and eight-figure businesses. For those of you calling it a scam, no one 
um, in our position, especially with our reputation in the gambling community, would ever risk these businesses that are quite literally like have allowed both my partner and I to retire. Like we would not risk our reputation on these with our legitimate businesses to ever open a scam business or anything, ever do anything along those lines. Not to mention, as I said, you can verify all on site that all the roles, all the winning, all the rounds are 100% legitimate and random and not controlled by us. You guys are retired? Yeah. As, as I said, Rust Clash and RBLX Wild do phenomenally. And we have other backings in other casinos and um, less public ones. But um, as, as it stands, these are massive, when I, no exaggeration, eight figure businesses. So Unturned Bet is a very small egg in that, um, in our portfolio. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you guys? Uh, how old are you guys actually? Because that's interesting. How old are you? It's public knowledge that uh, my partner and I both launched our first casino. Um, I'm 19 years old for context. Damn, you're 19. You're already retired, dude. Yeah, Fuck I'm me, 18. man. Just that. Fuck me, man. These guys are already retired. I gotta fucking go to work at a fucking register. <laughs> <laughs> No, so yeah, it 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 sounds like it does um it sounds like it does well. Obviously, I'm I'm just saying I'm not like approving or disapproving anything. It's just an interview. I'm I'm being neutral uh right now. People are asking me to add them to the to the call. Uh I I'm not going to do that cuz I think that'd be like a, there would be like a bias. So, no, I mean, if, if they have any questions, questions it's fine. in our Discord or in anything along those lines. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let me go through because I got all my questions answered practically. Let me go and look in the chat about any other any other like glaring questions that anybody would have. If anybody has any glaring questions that haven't been asked yet, please feel free to ask right now because I'm looking at the chat right now. Let me just look. Um, let me look here real quick. I'm I'm only seeing stuff about Nelson. <laughs> They're only asking about Nelson. So, like, I guess just to clarify, so, uh, uh, to your knowledge, Nelson has not sent you a cease and desist, or has told you as has messaged you guys at all. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I'll just put this out there. If Nelson is listening to this or he wants to send a cease and desist, like official rust clash at gmail.com or admin at skinmarket.gg, like those are two emails that he can gladly send it to and our lawyers will get back to him. But um, as I said, it's also not Nelson's place. We're not using any of Nelson's intellectual property, but um, he's free to send us a cease and desist and we are free to, we are happy to talk to him. But uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing any more. Um... Oh, all right, here's one. How far are you guys planning to go, uh, I guess, in terms of advertising or um, like game modes on your site? Um, when it comes to advertising, um, we really don't have a budget. Um, any YouTuber with a reputation and a, with a, I'd say, over, call it a thousand subscribers or you're free to reach out to um rushed and he can hook you up with an advertising deal like we really don't discriminate when it comes to that and we don't really have much of a budget especially as this is one of our smaller projects um and when it comes to game modes um it's really just recommendations i tend to stick away from coin flip and jackpot and stuff like that but there's a chance we add mines blackjack stuff like that down the road okay all right well i guess that's pretty much it uh, I got no more questions myself, and um, I'm not really seeing any more glaring questions in the um, in the chat, except for wait, maybe this one. Someone's asking, and I quote, "Why is there no verification to filter for children?" Well, I I think we already went over that. You guys have like a system where it bans people if they're suspected to be under the age of eighteen. So, 
Exactly. Yeah, so that's already been answered. Um, I think I think that'll wrap up the interview. I appreciate you guys taking the time. Obviously rushed. I know you're like busy right now. Like you're not like at your computer. So I appreciate you listening in and and uh, answering questions. Of course. Thanks for having us on, and it's been great to have a platform to finally answer these questions. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. Quite honestly, yeah. you're the only person who we could come to come to uh, about this. Yeah. Yeah, no one yeah, I, I figured no one else would ask you guys for an interview, so I figured I'd just do it. Without a doubt. And I appreciate it, Z Man. Okay. You have a good one. Yes, you guys have a good one as well. All right, All thank right. you. Bye bye. Peace. Bye bye. Okay, so the first major thing that I want to go over is this whole cease and desist situation because the unturned bet developers claim that Nelson Sexton, to their knowledge, never sent them a cease and desist or never asked them to take down the site. We had multiple users impersonating Nelson. To our knowledge and to our legal team's knowledge, we have not received any cease and desist. To our knowledge, we have not received any cease and desist from um, the creator of the game himself, much less Valve, for the record. And Valve is the one who we, we are required to receive a cease and desist from because we're using their trading API and because any game listed on Steam. Yeah, because um, it's, it's Steam. Steam's owned by Valve, so it's like their thing. Exactly. So Nelson did not send you a cease and desist? Not to our knowledge. We've not received a cease and desist from Nelson. And for context, people are saying that Nelson... Um, so to our knowledge, we have not received any cease and desist. We are very, I check all my DMs, um, the guy, there was an impersonator, but we proved that that was not Nelson. So like, I guess just to clarify, so, uh, uh, to your knowledge, Nelson has not sent you a cease and desist or has told you, has, has messaged you guys at all? Yeah. On, I mean, honestly, I'll just put this out there. If Nelson is listening to this or he wants to send a cease and desist, like, official rust clash at gmail.com or admin at skinmarket.gg. Like those are two emails that he can gladly send it to and our lawyers will get back to him. But um, as I said, it's also not Nelson's place. We're not using any of Nelson's intellectual property, but um, he's free to send us a cease and desist and we are free to, we are happy to talk to him. But uh, yeah. I got a lot of DMs and a lot of messages of people who emailed Nelson asking about whether or not Nelson was sending a cease and desist or what his opinion was on the gambling site and a lot of images were very intriguing i think the most intriguing one is this one in this screenshot nelson claims that not only did he send them a cease and desist but they are proceeding uh, which basically means that they are going to fight the cease and desist in court if i am not mistaken uh, if anyone would like to correct me on that, feel free to do so in the comments. So I decided to just go ahead and email Nelson myself so that we all can know for sure that Nelson Sexton knows about the site and what his opinion on it is. So I emailed Nelson and this is what he had to say. Nelson states that, yes, I joined the Unturned Bet server and sent a cease and desist message. Just double checked and no, I am not banned from the server. The reason I sent a message on Discord was because they do not have any other contact information listed. After I sent that message, they followed up with me by email where I clarified that yes, it was me, and no, I am not okay with them running an unturned gambling site. So as far as I know, they should be well aware. In the meantime, I have been pursuing other avenues including contacting Steam, contacting their hosting provider, and legal options. Uh, a lot of people were saying that Nelson got banned from the uh, Unturned Bet Discord server. Uh, well, I guess that can be debunked because Nelson states that he was not banned, so I guess he just left the Discord server. But this opens up a lot of questions because the Unturned Bet creators stated multiple times that they were unaware or that their legal team was unaware of any cease and desist sent by Nelson. Because according to Nelson, they do know and they actually emailed him. Now I don't know why they would seemingly lie about whether or not Nelson was sending them a cease and desist. I just find it very strange, especially since 
you can just email Nelson and, and clarify it yourself. Lying about that is just kind of silly if they did lie about it. I also find it interesting because Hobbs actually gave an email for Nelson to email as if they didn't already email Nelson. Now you could probably argue that, well, maybe they sent an email after I interviewed them, which could be the case. However, these other screenshots that I have of other emails that people sent were sent way before I did my interview. So these guys seemingly knew about this cease and desist long before I did my interview. This email basically confirms the suspicion that Nelson Sexton is taking legal action against Unturned Bet. Now I'm gonna read the email that was sent to Will Lemons. Uh, Nelson Sexton sent to Will that, I think the owner emailed me as well, so I just replied to them, but sharing a similar message here in general, I am happy to support Unturned related projects, so I am sorry to have to say no to your work, but we do not want Unturned involved in gambling. And using Steam inventory for a gambling business is against Valve's API and user agreements. Sincerely, Nelson. Now again, this email reveals a lot of information. Now this email was sent before I sent my email and before the interview. And once again, you can see that Nelson has been in contact with the creators of Unturned Bed or their legal team. Uh, via email way before I did my interview. So we can basically debunk any argument that they may have emailed Nelson after I interviewed them. Now, obviously this isn't a good look for them. Them lying blatantly on interview when it could be clearly debunked is rather silly. Uh, not only that, but it appears that Nelson wants nothing to do with their site and wants it taken down. Not only that, but at the time of recording, the Unturned Bet website actually has gone down. If you go to the website, all it says is coming soon, join our Discord server so you don't miss the launch. Now, obviously this is interesting as well because they had already launched. The site was up for a little while and now it is down. Now you could say this might have something to do with the legal action that Nelson is taking or him contacting Steam or the server provider for Unturned Bet, but obviously there's no hard definitive proof to suggest any of that. These are all just speculations, but the site is down for now. Now, the last thing I would like to share is actually from me and Rush's uh, DMs. This is something I just found interesting. Uh, Rush was pretty adamant on having the interview when the site was up. Um, I'm not entirely sure why this would matter. You could argue that the reason that he was letting the site being up dictate when he could do the interview was so that when I uploaded this video or when I did the interview, it would be a decent promotion for the site. However, this is just my speculation. Obviously, there could have been other factors as to why he couldn't do the interview uh, initially when I asked. But I do find it interesting that he was letting the site being up dictate whether or not he could do the interview. So anyway, yeah, this is uh, basically everything that I have to state in this video. Of course, there was a lot of other weird statements they made. Uh, for example, I'm pretty sure they said something along the lines of our website's skin yield is better than mystery boxes. I can't really verify whether or not that's true because I'm not an expert. If anybody is an expert on mystery boxes, feel free to leave a comment to verify whether or not that statement they made is true or false. I'm pretty sure it's false. I'm pretty sure they said that just for the sake of advertising, but who knows? But yeah, besides that, uh, that's basically this video. Uh, in terms of the legality of uh, what they're doing, I don't think that the site itself is a scam or illegal. Obviously, Nelson sent a cease and desist, so it's probably not going to exist for much longer. I mean, whether or not people wanted the site or whether or not it was legal doesn't really matter at this point because if Nelson, the guy that made the game, doesn't want the site, then the site isn't going to exist. But yeah, with that being said, that's that's practically the video. Thank you guys for watching, if you still are, and um, I'm gonna go take a shit.